a bipartisan group of senators on Wednesday announced that they had reached an agreement on a reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, after months of negotiations in the chamber. The legislation offers resources for victims of domestic abuse and sexual violence. Democrats Dick Durbin and Dianne Feinstein and Republicans Joni Ernst and Lisa Murkowski led the Senate talks. Democrat in the chamber noted that neither party achieved everything they wanted in the reauthorization, but hailed the compromise as a step toward better addressing the needs of domestic abuse survivors. Our bill is a compromise, he said. It doesn't include everything Senator Feinstein and I wanted, or everything Senator Ernst and Murkowski wanted. And there are provisions that all four of us very much wanted to include, such as an end to the loophole that allows abusers who harm dating partners to continue to have access to guns. The Illinois senator was referencing the so-called boyfriend loophole, which restricts convicted spousal abuse. We are confident the bipartisan agreement we reached will do just that, Durbin said, calling the legislation a life-saving law that aims to ensure every survivor can reach a lifeline in a moment of crisis. The original Violence Against Women Act, signed in 1994 by then-President Bill Clinton, was President Biden, who as a senator played a leading role in passing the original legislation, said in a statement Wednesday that he was grateful that this critical bipartisan bill is moving forward, and I look forward to Congress delivering it to my desk without delay. In a joint press release, the The House passed a renewal of the act last year, 